Arizona Cardinals are now sitting 6-5 and five on the 2020 season. Now, if you did not see my preview, this is the type of game that I thought we were going to see. Um, that, you know, ugly defensive type of game. Uh, Bill Belichick being a mastermind and pretty much taking away Kyler Murray and what he does best with his legs. This is exactly the type of game that I was afraid of seeing. And we ended up seeing it here again. And obviously the whole Zane Gonzalez keep missing field goal situation is just that much more upsetting for us to go forward. Five games left in the stretch. If you guys do not want to see a rip job of this Arizona Cardinals team, turn off this video right now. Let's go ahead and dive into the real reason why the Arizona Cardinals lost this game. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Welcome back in. Now the Arizona Cardinals are now sitting six and five on the 2020 season with an opportunity to win this game against the Patriots. But obviously nothing goes our favor. Nothing goes our way. Zane Gonzalez ends up missing another field goal and it's right. It's wide to the right. And it's just frustrating. I'm absolutely frustrated frustrated with this Arizona Cardinal offense. Now, if I'm going to give a specific MVP to, you know, uh, to this team, it has to be the defense. The defense did everything they possibly could to keep this offense, you know, in the game. And I honestly think that, you know, kudos to everybody who got a sack. I know Isaiah Simmons got a sack. Drake Kirkpatrick was even involved and got an interception. Uh, Marcus Golden got an interception as well. So I want to say kudos to you guys. You know, keep balling out. We'll try to, to fix this offense on this terrible, terrible stretch that we're looking into right now. But I want to talk about Kyler Murray. Now, I don't know if Kyler Murray is 100%. The organization for the Arizona Cardinals says he's good to go. He should be playing like he usually plays. Kyler Murray wasn't playing like he usually plays. The explosiveness that is Kyler Murray didn't really happen at all. Now, you can go ahead and say, hey, you know, Bill Belichick did a really good job. The defensive line for the Patriots did a really good job. They went ahead and kept jumping up and, you know, they kept tipping the balls off. Great job on that. I'm not saying anything about that. But Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury has a lack of ability to adjust when they're punched in the mouth. Now, this is the perfect example of the pretty boy football. A Raiders player said, and I believe it was preseason of last year when he said this is pretty boy football. That's exactly what this is. This Arizona Cardinals team does not have the ability to be physical enough to get a win whenever we get this type of this game. I'm tired of constantly seeing the same thing over and over again where our defense tries to do everything they possibly can and when the moment that the offense cannot click is not working, Kyler Murray is basically sitting on the bench and basically sulking and not talking to his coaches and trying to figure out what's better for the Ziggler organization to get through from here on out. This is the trend. This is the exact trend that we've been seeing the throughout the entirety of the 2020 season so far. The Arizona Cardinals are losing against the teams that they should win, and we're winning against the teams that nobody really gave us a chance that thinking that we were going to win that game. And this is just a perfect example of the trend that is the Arizona Cardinals in the 2020 season. Now, I get it. I'm not jumping off a cliff quite yet. I know there's five games left in the season. We can possibly very well go 11-5. and five. Now, do I think that's going to happen? No, absolutely not. Especially if we're starting off slow time and time again. This is the frustrating part as far as being a fan. Yeah, honestly, we can probably see Cliff Kingsbury be like, oh yeah, it was my fault, wrong play calling. But you're doing the same thing over and over again. What exactly do we need to do to learn from the mistakes to keep going from here on out? I'm tired of it. I'm absolutely tired of seeing this offense putting the situation on this defense, putting them on their back and having them try to do everything in the world. Now, I know right now the defense didn't play perfectly. I get it. It's probably because Isaiah Simmons, you know, hit him out of bounds or whatever the situation is. I think once we saw the replay, when Isaiah Simmons did hit him out of bounds, he was still on the field. But I think what it was is they were catching him with like a head-to-head -head contact. And when Cam Newton ended up going out and basically sprawling out, they're going to throw a flag. And that's the situation, what it is. Um, now, if they even didn't convert those two little, you know, passes that Cam Newton ended up doing, that field goal was going to make it regardless. So that penalty was huge on the defensive side. I'm not going to blame this on the defense. The defense did everything they possibly could for the Arizona Cardinals to make a chance to win this game. Zane Gonzalez ends up missing another field goal. Now that is huge for the Arizona Cardinals. Now I'm not going to say right now, fire Zane Gonzalez. It's not going to happen guys. Like who else we're going to have out there? There's nobody else that you guys would wallow, uh, rather want. Maybe he'll be released this coming um, off season. I don't know, but right now it's not a time for us to talk release Zane Gonzalez. I knew that this was going to be a tough, hard-fought game from the beginning, a defensive type of game. I honestly thought it was going to be 13-17, um, but ended up being 17-20, um, being that the Patriots ended up 
obviously converting that field goal and they ended up getting the win from the Arizona Cardinals. But this is the trend, man. This is the exact trend that we're seeing all the time. Kyler Murray needs to get whatever is going on right now and he needs to get it going. Uh, we have one of the best wide receivers of the NFL, DeAndre Hopkins, and we're not using him correctly, in my personal opinion. Now, I'm excited that uh, Andy Isabella ended up getting, you know, some some playing time. Kudos for him. Great job. Yeah, whatever. Um, Christian Kirk had a huge drop, a huge drop before that whole, you know, Kenyon Drake, is it a touchdown? Is it not a touchdown? He dropped a, a perfectly great slant pass in the end zone. Like, that's the kind of stuff that you do not do, Christian Kirk. And that's one of the things that really upsets me from here on out. This is why I've been saying Christian Kirk is not a number two wide receiver. And I've been saying this time and time again. You don't drop balls like that that are given to you in the bread basket, in your hands, and it just drops right under you. Like, you can't do that kind of stuff, Christian Kirk, and that would have been huge for the Arizona Cardinals. But no, unfortunately, we don't end up even getting any points because the aggressiveness of Cliff Kingsbury, you know, genius that he is, is constantly trying to go for more and more and more. Um, now, I get it. If he, he makes it, he's a genius. He didn't make it. So we end up losing three points, at least three points going into the half. Now, another rip job I want to go ahead and give the special teams that we have here, man. The special teams were terrible in, in this game. Two big returns for the Patriots. And honestly, that was probably the, the turnover and how everything kind of switched the momentum going here. Now, there was an obvious, obvious game plan as to like what Bill, Belichick was trying to do within this game. They were trying to bleed the clock out as much as they possibly could. And it worked. They slowed down the game on their benefit. Now, we were trying to do the same thing on our end the only difference between what he did and what we did is they took advantage of every single point that they could possibly get and we didn't that was the biggest part of it all here we need to stop going for these fourth downs because every single point that we're missing off the scoreboard is a specific point that we can use towards the end of the game time and time again that we're seeing this so cliff kingsbury i know you love being aggressive i get it but for the love of god please stop stop going for these fourth downs take the points i don't care if you're getting a rip job from here on out take the points we need every single point that we possibly can get because if our offense is looking like this every single time week after week and we have five games left in the season Man, we're going to have a terrible time against the Rams, guys. And I am so sick and tired of seeing this time and time again. The Arizona Cardinals need to figure something out, and they need to figure something out fast.